Imagine the self-proclaimed truther, always asking questions, generating just enough mystery and intrigue, and yet never actually finding the answers that are sitting right there in the history books and archives. And that reminds me, the Sunnyside Coke ovens. What Jonathan did not show you are the abundance of photographs in this archive that show what the site looked like before and while in operation. These photographs took me 10 seconds to find on a Google search. The earth above the ovens is hard and baked because they were packed in to generate excessive heat. As you can see, carts ran above these to move the coal. Here is a short clip of another site. These abandoned coke sites are everywhere and well documented. The Sunnyside ovens used to look like this. It's most likely the ovens are all missing their front sections because a stone was salvaged and reused after decommission in 1958, or to stop squatters from taking residence in them. It happened at the Redstone site. Hippies would squat in these ovens. After they left, residents continued pillaging stone from the ovens. I also noticed that one of the brick manufacturers was Hawes. Hawes makes fire bricks. These are resilient to damage and excessive heat. The first manufacturer, W.H. Hawes Fire Brick Company, built the first refractory plant in America, designed exclusively to make silica brick, or refractories. Silica brick was used to line coke ovens, steel furnaces, steamship and locomotive boilers, and fireboxes of all sorts. Hawes was established in the 19th century. Isn't it more realistic that they just use more resilient bricks here and cheaper ones below? What kind of cataclysm would roast the top and the bottom and leave the middle intact? Also, they actually refurbished 300 coke ovens in 1942 at Sunnyside. Perhaps that's it. This site was decommissioned in 1958. That's only 64 years ago. And here's a shot of them building more ovens. You can see the bricks on the side here. And why didn't you show people these photographs? It's quite easy to generate mystery if you deliberately ignore photographs like this and pretend they don't exist. Now, I will say that right here, uh, th yes, this is very interesting stuff. Uh, I'm glad he showed this. Um, I haven't worked out what is going on here. Um, I, I, don't, I don't agree with everything John said in his video. Um, I, I, I have some questions. Um, I have put out a, uh, I've extended my hand to try to talk with him about it and he has not responded. So I don't know, you know, what, where to go with that. Um, I have questions about how uh, the Coke ovens didn't have, uh, uh, you, there was no evidence that they were used on the, up on the top side of the rounded portion of the Coke ovens. But then on the, the bottom part, it looks like it's melted, but it's in a straight line. And no, it didn't come from underneath the ground. It wasn't X Factor. That's bullshit. So I have questions there. I'm not saying he has answers. I'm just saying I have questions. Like they're saying these are Coke ovens. I don't know. I, th this is a very weird site. It's very new to me. I'm, I'm, I'm looking into it, but it's, it's something that, and th these things are all over the country, by the way. Um, so there's questions to be had. Um, I'm not sure what's going on here, but you know what? John was trying to show these things but you know from our, our he was doing boots on the ground and i really commend him from, for getting out there and trying to show it to everyone um even though i don't agree with it, all of his assessment of what he saw that's okay i mean we we don't have to agree on everything um it's, it's all right but I, there's there's a lot going on in this thing um i'm not sure if these were coke ovens or not must have been 10 seconds to find on a google search I, see you know what that, that's not really kind of that's kind of not how John does his videos. It, I, I, yeah, he can do better on that. Um, and I think John will do better. You know, when you, when you point these things out, he, John does try to incorporate that. He should have done better where he, he showed some of this. I agree with Ewar on that. I do. He said it took him like 10 seconds to find all these pictures. And the, the truth is when you go to the website he went to, it's actually only like one page of pictures. The rest of it is documentation that's in books about the Coke ovens. So it's not, there's not nearly as many pictures as, he, as Ewar was claiming. No, I was actually disappointed uh, in the amount of pictures that were shown. See, that's right there. On the top, it's, there's no smoke damage or burning or nothing. It's, it looks like the day it was put in, but on the bottom... Um, here, and she the whole matter of fact, let me show it here. Right uh, here. On the bottom, the, the, that darker level, If when, you, when John gets in close on his video, you see that it looks like, that it looks like it's either burned or melted. But what's, the weird thing is that it's in a perfectly straight line all the way around. So there's a real question there. Um, I don't know what the hell is going on here. I don't know if these were not used or if they were rebuilt or if they were repurposed or 
If the bottom was used and they put new tops on, I don't, something's not right. But they just used more resilient bricks here and cheaper ones for lower. What kind of cataclysm would work the top? Right there, see that? And the bottom and leave the middle intact. Also, they actually... And the floors are intact. There's another thing. If you're watching John's video, he shows the the floors and the floors look like they're, they're, there's nothing wrong with them. They refurbished 300 coke ovens in 1942 at Sunnyside. <laughs> it says uh, that there was a total of 300 coke ovens refurbished. Well, maybe the ones that John was looking at were the refurbished ones and maybe they never got y used. M maybe that's what was going on. Maybe. That, that's a very strong possibility. So this is where I think John could have done a better job. I, I will agree with that. See, you are, we agree on some things. We, we agree. It's, and this is the same thing with everybody. I agree with with people. Some, you know, even Jerry DeCamp, I agree with him on certain things. Okay? We, we, we can find a, a balance, a middle ground. It's just, you know, when we don't talk, we, we don't get anywhere. And then people get pissed off and aggravating their knickers in a bunch. And see how those bricks on the bottom are in, in perfect shape. So that's really weird. I don't think it, he did it on purpose. I think he just didn't like think he just didn't think about it, which he should have thought about it. Okay, so from, from both perspectives, you know they're both right. Uh, John should have showed the photographs, but Ewar should understand that you know John's not perfect. John, you know John's sitting on you know a high mountain, but that doesn't make him perfect. And there's nothing perfect about John Levy, y'all. I mean, I've talked to the man. He's a good guy, but he's just like you and me. Okay, he's just down to earth guy trying to do research, and he shares it. And he's just a lot of people like him. Okay, he's done really well. Congratulations, John. Um, you know, but, you know, Ewar, man, I mean, the dude is like gone off the rails or something. And once again, I've been attacked and accused of not showing the construction of the Sunnyside Kilns in Utah, a site that I had visited. And here in this video, someone has said, aha, here is construction of the Sunnyside Kilns. John purposely left this out. And what you will notice is this is not the Sunnyside Kilns. This site has a curvature. As we can see here, a sweeping curvature. And if you recall my video, there is no curvature at the kilns in Sunnyside, Utah. While accusing me, this channel is showing false information. It says here, Sunnyside, Utah, and yet this is not the Coke ovens that I visited. John was looking at the, um, he, he was, he was saying, uh, talking kind of in response to, to Darth Awar, he was, he was saying that, um, uh, he was saying that he came in here and he found these pictures and, um, so I gr I went and looked at the pictures um, that AWAR was talking about, and, and I wanted to, uh, you know, see what was what was there because because I wanted to see I wanted to learn more. And uh, when I looked at these, I, I grabbed all the pictures and all the books, everything I could find. Okay, but then I, I didn't. I got busy sidetracked on something else, and I, I I saw this picture, and when I saw it, it didn't look right to me, and I didn't. Um, I hadn't looked at it. But then when John put out his video this past week, and he said, "By the way, this is this is not the Sunnyside Coke ovens. Look, they go in a curve, and look, there's no mountains." And I was like wait a minute, and I went back, and I, I looked into this, and I was like, wait a minute, that, um, that's right, and, and so, let me, let me, uh, let me get the Sunnyside, uh, Oak Ovens up here on, on the, uh, Satamalite, and, um, so, I was looking, I, I went, and I was looking, I was like, yeah, where's the damn mountains, that, that's what's weird, and also, where's the damn curve, and I was like, okay, so this is the Sunnyside Oak Ovens, this is where, um, John went to, and I, I was looking at this, like, there is no curve, okay, you can see, Okay, there's there's this little weird bit here, which I don't know what it is, but all it is is this little archy shape here, and there's something weird here, but it, it's still straight, and it goes over here, and there was obviously Coke ovens up here, and by my count, up here would have been about 600, they say there was 700, um, so I'm not exactly sure, they say 700, I don't know where the, all, so I don't know if my count's good or what, but I can count at least 600, but I, it's hard to get a count, but then I'm looking here, and this is straight, there is no curve, so then I thought, well, okay, well this picture must have been taken from this direction, right, because, uh, look, here's the thing, there's a mountain in this direction, right? There's a mountain. So if you did on this side, right? You're down here, okay? Well, no, wait. It can't be that direction. There's a mountain. So in the picture, they say they showed a mountain. Well, there's no, there's no mountain. There's a, there's no mountain in the picture yet. There's a mountain here. I mean, what you know? What they do? Plop the mountain down later. So then I thought, okay, well, well that must be picture must be taken from this side. Now remember this this picture is labeled same side Coke ovens, okay? If you line this picture up here, okay, you're looking here. Well, there's that mountain, okay? So. If, if you go by the picture, now, granted, it might be a little clearer out here, flat out here, but, uh, sorry, buttons aren't toys. If you, if, if you go out here, yeah, it's a little bit flatter, but, you know, I'm sorry, the left of the picture has no mountain, okay? So, going back to the picture, this is the picture now, th there is no mountain here. Either way you look, if you, if you're looking from one way or the other, there's no, number one, there's no mountain, and number two, there's no fucking curve. Now, then I went on a search of where the hell is this at? If this ain't Sunnyside Coke Ovens, what Coke Ovens are they? And honestly, I can't find them. So I don't know where the hell this is. This is not Sunnyside Coke Ovens. 
So why do I fight with evil? Perhaps I have nothing else to do. Once you free yourself from evil, you want to help others. And it's very upsetting to hear people propagate lies. Lies are evil, and so I will shed light on lies. It seems like this library has done their best to scatter these photos. You'll see when we click on them, they only give us one. And then we go back, we click on this one, and instead of giving us a nice collection, they're just scattered. And so we're going to go through each one of these today. These construction photos. We'll have a look at them and determine whether they really are construction photos. And in fact, I'm thankful for evil. Evil shows us where there's a hole in the bucket, and I'm more than willing to patch a hole if it will benefit the masses. First, we'll start out on the map. If you didn't see my video where Chief and I visited this site, I suggest you do, because I'm not going to go into the detail that I shared in that video. We're going to approach this from a different angle, right off the get-go. So here, History's pet showed us a picture of the construction of the lime kilns, and of course he's not in America or Utah and had not visited this site as I had, personally. When you visit a site personally and then you look at pictures, everything makes sense. You can even look at the shadows and observe if they're coming from the proper angle because you know the area intimately. Here, History's pet told us that there was a construction photo, and what I showed you is it it was not the Sunnyside Coke ovens. He showed us a picture of a sweeping, curving area with Coke ovens, and somebody had even penciled in Sunnyside Coke ovens, and you can tell it wasn't even part of the photo. It was clearly just penciled in, and it was not the site, and it was in these archival images that we're going to look at. So the archival images are full of shit, and I can prove this. So here's the first photo they offer up. And what we see is a type of polygonal Peruvian fitted block work on the left side here. Very interesting. But regardless, I don't believe this is the site. And if you'd seen my video, you would agree. Now this does look like the site. Or at least the mountains in the background. Could these be added to a photo? Yes. Even back when, you could lay two negatives on top of one another and create any type of photoshopping that you needed to. However, let's just imagine that this is what it is. These do look like the mountains. And here's a construction photo. Everybody has stopped working. We see down here, construction workers, spring of 1902. Horse and wagon. Looks like a couple cords of wood here, stacked. And really a piss poor construction photo. Looks like a big mess. At the very least, we would expect to see a nice level working surface. No, just rubble everywhere. And these cowboys simply don't have the disposition or even clothing of skilled builders or anything. Here again in this Utah University digital library, and they're offering us Coke ovens. This one says Sunnyside, Utah from the Widstow family collection. Doesn't look like it. Again, I walked all over this site, up and down, drove around it, and this is not the Sunnyside kilns. These look like they're being used crudely and repurposed as some sort of oven we see burning up here. Soot. Mind you, in Sunnyside, there is no soot. Again, watch my video. I'm not going to go through everything. But yes, we see crude soot here, and we don't see the domes. And here's a picture of the Sunnyside town and ovens. They give us a date of 1914. So all this started in the late 1800s. And here they're showing us 1914. And not impressive at all. Looking like what we would expect of our inheritors. Stupid wood buildings. Little shacks. They're nice buildings. I would live in one of these. And here maybe a crude stone built oven. Just a pile of garbage. Just a mess. And here a construction photo. What do they say? 1902. Sunnyside Carbon. Building the coal ovens at Sunnyside, Utah. 1902 to 1903. Here we go. Building the coal ovens. Again, everybody stops to pose. Not seeming like skilled laborers. Seeming like bottom of the barrel laborers. And if you ask me, they're taking these apart. You see this pile here? Stack. This guy is just giving us the thumbs up. Proud of his pile that he's disassembled for the day. Again, look at the top of this kiln. Having a stress crack in it. This guy's just hosing all the mud off. You see? He's got a hose. And he's spraying all the mud off the top so these guys can disassemble it. And that is my analysis of this picture. But I also want to stress we see this curvature that Darth showed us. And I want to stress that there is no curvature out here. These kilns are straight. I mean super straight, suspiciously straight, in my opinion, for this time period without a laser level. Straight as an arrow. So I don't think any of these pictures that he showed us are, in fact, the Sunnyside kilns. I don't think they ever took pictures in 1902 out here. I think this site would have been discovered much later, maybe in the 30s, 40s, or 50s. But that's not my point. My point is how straight they are. And there's 700. And I think with this whole crew, you might be able to take apart five or ten of them per day. Certainly not construct them at the speed that we're told with these means. Again, I I wish they would have just given us everything in a nice collection. So, what year is this? This is 1914. So way after everything is said to have been built. And what do we see here? We see a bunch of wood and outhouses and stupid steps to these little wooden buildings. And these are nice wooden buildings. Again, even today. This is probably a 20 by 20 building or 400 square feet. 
Today, to build this building at $350 a square foot, you're looking at close to 100 grand. Today, and most people would be happy with such a little structure. And certainly back then they were. But this is what they are capable of building then. For the most part, and for the masses, this is what we're capable of building now. And these 700 Coke ovens, I hope you're beginning to see, makes absolutely no sense in this early time period. Here this man is shoveling some wood in, and they just didn't even bother. They just took some picture of any old Coke oven or lime kiln, had the actor pose, and staged this site with wood, and call it Sunnyside. Utah. Absolutely offensive. Well, this could be a good segue if you want to talk about the drama. And I say drama because that really is what it feels like. It should be a debate, but you've got one side of the party that's digressed into name-calling, so I do feel it's drama. It's kind of absurd, really. Levy actually addressed the, the criticism that I provided in that brick video. You know, and he said, like, I'm under attack, and the photograph he shows is not the same site. There's curvature in this photograph. So I thought, okay, fine, I'm going to leave it there. And people can go and check out the archive and make up their own mind. And a few days ago, he brought it up again. And I mean, if I knew I was going to upset him so much, I probably wouldn't have done it. But, but I thought, okay, good, he's going to go through the photographs. You know, he's taking the criticism on board. You know, what followed blew my mind. And I, I th I'm still kind of flabbergasted by it. He, he starts with saying it's, it's upsetting to hear people spread lies. You know, lies are evil, so he's going to shed the big light on the evil. And then he said, it seems like this library has done their best to scatter these photos. Instead of giving us a, a nice tidy collection, they're just scattered. So we're going to go through every single one of them today. Now, in the description box, I put a link to the archive. And this was originally my pinned comment, I've changed it for this one to light it, but it's also there. So we click on that. So this is all the photographs, so they're not scattered. And in the video, he's on this one, or a different one, I don't know. And he's, you know, he's reading all this stuff here. But he's still emphasizing that they've done their best to hide it and scattered. Now look, sunny side. Just a click. Bring up 3,000 results. Format. Image. You got 190. Now you can refine it even more and say Coke. And you gave them more. So, you know, I'm a bit confused. And he didn't go through all these photographs. You know, so off the bat, you know, he's making promises that he didn't uphold. And here's one of the kilns in a straight line. Half of them have been demolished. This other half over here obviously hasn't. So it's a transition photograph. There's one or two things going on here. The first is that there's a complete deficiency when it comes to researchability. I, I mean, what? You cannot undertake something as simple as an archive search. Or, you know, once again, it's careful selectivity. So, and that was what my original criticism was about. You know, selectivity when it comes to presenting the viewer with information. You know, it's cherry picking, or, you know, even for want of a better phrase, it's lying to achieve a desired outcome. You know, he's saying they're scattered, that they've been deliberately scattered, and that's just not true. So if it's the first option, just this lack of researchability, then, you know, it does raise questions like, should you really be trying to debunk history? If you were struggling to find these images, like, what else have you missed? It also completely tarnishes the reputation of everyone in this game. Like, he's the biggest name in the Tartaria community. If you're saying this and outsiders are like, watching the videos, you know, think, oh, I'm gonna go check out the archive of the Coke Hills, and they just go to the search function. But he's out here saying he struggled and the archive has deliberately scattered them. But then if it's the second option, you know, the selectivity, then he's like deliberately engaged with constructive criticism in a defensive manner, only to then be selective again. But this time, its purpose was to influence his viewers against the person who provided the criticism. You know, in other words, it's a smear. You know, we all make mistakes. I wouldn't want to, you know, put out a message that you have to get it right before you put out a video, because that's just not what I'm saying. We all mess up. And to accuse someone of being evil, and then to pull a move like that. And I, I do, I think it's a second option, the selectivity, because in the video when he's looking at Google Earth, but you can see up here it's been destroyed, so this is a site that once was. But down here, there is an imprint of curvature, and there's a closer one. You can see there's like bricks, or it might even be an old railway. There is remains here. So, to just say there's more to this site, but then deny the fact that this curvature could have been there, and, you know, the railways could have been there, and it could have looked like that. It's just selective. He constantly insists on saying he doesn't know, and doesn't have all the answers. But like, somehow within all that vagueness, he does insist that our ancestors couldn't have built something as simple as a brick kiln. It's never, you know, I don't know, perhaps they could build great things with this guy. He calls the workers in this latest video as well, where, you know, he's calling me names, which you know, is fine. But he calls the workers, you know, something like bottom of the barrel. He takes the mick out of the guy with the bricks and his thumb up. And I've noticed as well, actually, in the last, in his last few episodes, he calls a lot of the construction that he does think that is possible to build. He calls it stupid. But all the while, he's presenting bottom of the barrel research. He's insisting the images are scattered, and they're not. So again, it just appears, you know, amateur, it appears deficient, and it's disrespectful. The site was uh, decommissioned in... I think 1959, it was late 50s, I think. Anyway, he calls me names, he says, oh, your history's pet. <laughs> this is the new one. I quite like the Darth Vader, I think we keep that one going because, you know, it does, like we said before, he, he kills the emperor at the end. But history's pet, I mean, it's not, I'm not gonna lie, I have become quite protective over European and English history, and I, I, it's just the way it's gone. At least have that ethic there with it. But saying that, there is one thing in the video that I do agree with, and that's when he says, he hasn't gone to the site himself. That is important, and I, hey, I completely agree, I haven't gone there. But that's exactly what I was saying with the pivot, with LHFE end, is that I wanted to focus on England and Europe because I can go there. And the community criticised the life out of me for that. But now he seems to agree, he sees why that's important. So, you know, I'm hoping he sticks to it. And the thing is, I'm not saying there's no hidden history around those kilns or Sunnyside. 
they're very well could be. But another thing that you just notice is that the argument, his argument, always hinges on these photographs being fake. So these construction photographs, they're all whitewashed guys, whatever. But not this one. This one, uh uh, we like this one. And why? Because it shows a symbol and perhaps they fake this. So this works for their argument. And you've done a, a quality video on this. The skies are whitewashed. They don't look any different from the other photographs. In a way, they're almost worse quality. You know, you see the moon landing. I mean, it just looks so fake. But these photographs don't. So I think it's forever a weak argument. There's never any willingness to consider that a lot of these photographs are real. It's just this rigid denialism. So I think with this Levy thing, you know, I think it's getting out of hand. And it was just constructive criticism. They could carry on forward. It wasn't this, this thing that, you know, I wanted to have a beef or anything like that. So this is the last time I'm going to respond to Levy. And, you know, and after listening to this latest one, and listening to the way he speaks about me with a name call in, and the way, you know, he speaks about people in the photographs, it's a good thing for me because I can say that I'm definitely proud for making that pivot. I'm proud I've left the Lataria stuff behind. It's, it's just one of the best decisions I've made because, you know, not, I've now seen it for what it is. Look, my channel wouldn't be where it is today without this individual having given me a shout out. So here's the deal, people. Um, what, in my opinion, uh, my new opinion is that we are all three wrong and for different reasons. Um, so I'm going to explain why and hopefully we will gain an understanding as to what we can do to move forward in this research. So first off, Ewar comes out and he is putting down John um, for not doing enough research on his Sunnyside Coke ovens. So, um, you know, immediately you, you have uh, John being put on the defensive. And so um, I also got on the defensive too because I'm already looking at Ewar um, as a backstabber and uh, putting out bullshit research himself. So it put me on uh, red alert as to, okay, well, what's this son of bitch up to? Okay, because I'm already, you know, seeing the bullshit he's putting out, which I've already talked about in other uh, live streams. Um, but then you've got Ewar coming out and saying, John, you didn't do enough research and, you know, giving him, you know, originally no credit for actually getting out boots on the ground, um, which I commend John for. Um, so then I come out and I look at the pictures and I kind of give a few of my opinions. Um, but I, 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 my opinion at the time was that there was something strange about these pictures. So then um, John comes out with his retort to Ewar and he's looking at these pictures and he's saying, wait a minute, Ewar, these are not pictures of Sunnyside Coke ovens. And so then I was like, well, damn, I need to go take another look at this. So I come out and I look at the pictures again and I'm like, wait a minute, you're right. There is no curve at the Sunnyside Coke ovens and there's mountains at the Sunnyside Coke ovens and the mountains are not being shown in the pictures. So then Ewar comes out on his uh, uh, chat with uh, Wood Nichols and he starts going at John again. So here's the deal. Let me uh, ex let me uh, show you some things, and we're going to get to the bottom of what's really going on here and how we can move forward. So um, John goes in and he uses DuckDuckGo uh, to do his search, and this is the first problem: Sunnyside Coke Oven Construction Collection, uh, Utah Archives. Now this is the search that John did. This is the exact search. Now that is not what. Ewar in his video told people to do. If you go to Ewar's video, he says go in my description and there is a link. This is Ewar's video brick making in the 1800s and you're supposed to go Sunnyside Coke Oven Photo Archives and click the link. This is what comes up. Now, I will tell you that both of these ways goes to the same thing. If you click on this, this does go to the same website. This is the uh, Utah uh, J. Wilford Marriott Digital Library, University of Utah, and it's the same thing here. But the difference is that when you go on Ewar's version, it goes to Ewar's Coke Oven Sunnyside search within this digital library. If you go to the way John did it, it goes to an individual picture. Now, that being said, when John says that the, um, uh, uh, the, the, that the, the photos are scattered, he's right because when he's looking at it, the, the, the images are scattered. Okay? They're, they're, they're very scattered this way. So there's another one. Okay, they're very scattered. And the search comes up a little bit different uh, when I search today than it did on the day he searched. Maybe because of his search history, I don't know. See, there's more. My point is that John's on the defensive now. Okay, so John is going to try to find the images the way that he normally probably tries to find the images. He probably uses DuckDuckGo to do his searches. Okay, so he then goes, okay, Sunnyside, Coke Ovens, Construction, uh, Collection, Utah Archives. Okay, so he's trying to find this archives through his way of normally searching, which found it the same way. Okay, but when he found it, it came up with where the, the results were very sporadic. Okay, because you got to understand, when you go to John's way, it brings up one picture. It does not bring up the entire collection. Okay, now this is important because that means he has to go backwards to find the next picture. Okay, which is what he did. If you watch his video, he goes backwards and forwards to go find each picture. Now, if you go to uh, Ewar's version, okay, where he goes, uh, where you follow his link, it takes you right to here. Now, then uh, Ewar claims that there's a bunch of pictures on this site. And that's not true. Okay, so um, you, you've got Ewar putting out information that's not true. So then you, you look at, and Ewar says, look at all the pictures, right? And he gets down here, right? 
but he does not go to the next picture. If you notice, there's a but there are pictures. Let's look. There's one. It's got one through twelve. Okay, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty pictures. You go to the next page. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. Okay. 27 pictures okay and then okay there's 27 pictures and the rest of it is books on the on coke ovens that are in this collection when you search sunny coke oven sunny side um sunny side coke ovens okay so my point is that ewar is trying to trying to um put put out there that there's a bunch of pictures on this and there's only what 26 okay that's all there is okay now then um what we've got is a whole different thing and now is where i'm going to lay out what's really going on here so john is looking at this image that is labeled coke oven sunnyside utah and this is in the digital collections now uh when i first looked at this image i noticed that this looked like it was written um on the uh, the negative um in the, on the picture so i discounted this right immediately just like john did um i also john was saying oh look it's curved it couldn't be sunnyside coke ovens which i agreed with and he said look there's no mountains which i agreed with because there are mountains at sunnyside coke ovens in the background and i showed that in my video now what i'm going to tell you is that this image is sunnyside coke ovens and I'm going to show you why. This is a high-resolution photograph of the same photograph. This photograph was trimmed right about here and cut off. Okay, then it was cut off about right here. If you notice, um, actually it was cut off right here. Okay, but more importantly, it was cut off on the left side. And I'll tell you the reason why. This image has been vanilla skied. So the first piece of evidence that I have for you is that this right here is proof that it was vanilla skied. Right here. What you're seeing there is the mountains. And what's happened is that they were scraping this image to vanilla sky it. Okay, if you look very closely, this, I'm not sure, this could be very possibly uh, the original negative. Uh, right here, this area here. I don't know if that's even showing up, but I can see the scrape marks right here. I don't know if there's mountains in this area. I have a tendency to believe there's not from the angle. But I know there's ang there's there are most definitely 100% uh, mountains on the left hand side then they kept scraping the image um, I don't know if it's showing up but I can see it right here I see the residue of where they did not finish scraping it um, I can see it here but then this is the telltale sign this is the giveaway right here they did not finish scraping right here and what was the dead giveaway was this solid uh, vertical line right here that is not natural okay this was a mountain there was a mountain right here and they scraped off the image they scraped it to this point here and what they did was they scraped a bunch off and then finally scraped it here on the, on the bottom to get this jaggedy edge here on the trees but what they did was they realized they weren't going to use this entire image for some reason they were going to cut it off right about here which is what they did and they decided not to finish vanilla skying it so then the original glass plate negative had this still left on it so the first piece of evidence I have for you is that this is Sunnyside Coke Ovens because this image has been vanilla skied. Okay, that is 100% vanilla skied. Now, um, I need to switch to Google Earth. Okay, so what we have here is uh, Sunnyside Coke Oven Ruins in uh, Utah. And you'll notice they're in a straight line here. And if you look from this direction, I've already showed this before, um, you have mountains in the background. Okay, that's undebatable. Now, if you look from the opposite direction, okay, let me line it up for you and you look there are mountains in the background okay now if you remember from the picture uh that that side i can't drop down the ground so i can't show you perfectly but there the mountains do seem to go away to some extent on this side okay that's important okay remember i said that it, they, they there might be less mountains on that side but that's not really what interests me then you had ewar saying well, look you've got this right here okay now i originally was looking at this as being the coke ovens okay now when I counted these up, from this image, I counted about 600 Coke ovens. They said there was seven. But then I'm going to show you something in a minute where there was about a thousand. Okay? So I don't, even sure, I don't even think the numbers are right. Okay, now I was looking at this little round piece here, and I determined this is not what we're seeing in the pictures. But here's the deal. I think this actually is Coke ovens. I don't know what's happened here. Okay, something has, has they've destroyed them. They've, they've covered over them, something. I think that these are the coke ovens. So we know that if they vanilla skied the background, on the left-hand side, that it had mountains here, you can see. 
Um, but if they vanilla skied it, okay, they would have it would have been vanilla skied from about this point here. Okay, what I'm saying is that I believe now that these are or were Coke ovens as well. I even think that there was Coke ovens here. I think you see the remnants of, of Coke ovens right there and they have been removed or uh, covered over possibly. I think in the pictures to me, it looks like the Coke ovens were actually buried in the ground um, and that these have been uncovered. Um, but I'm, I'm not sure. There's a lot to be determined here. But I think this line right here could be Coke ovens. I think this line right here is Coke ovens. Um, so I think that, uh, and I think maybe there was Coke ovens here too. I'm not really sure. Maybe even here. Here's the deal. That image is Sunnyside Coke ovens. Okay. And I now believe that this is Coke ovens right here. Okay. Now I can't get down there. I, you can see I can't get, I can't get down to this area. Okay. This is something that John can do. John can actually go back to the site and investigate this. Okay. Um, now let me show you something else. In Ewar's video, he was showing this slide here. Um, and it says June 14th, 1942, Utah Fuel was refurbishing a total of about 300 Coke ovens of a one-time total of 998 at Sunnyside to furnish Coke for a new pig iron plant in California. Of the planned 300 ovens, only about 40 were already in operation. But what I wanted to show here was a one-time total of 998 Coke ovens at Sunnyside. So maybe that there were not 700 Coke ovens, maybe there was a thousand. So I think that's really interesting. Now, uh, I found this here. Um, this shows construction of Coke ovens. And these Coke ovens, to me, look exactly, even though this isn't Sunnyside Coke ovens, uh, these are from, I forget where, um, let's see if I can, uh, it, uh, uh Con Connorsville Coal and Coke region. I'm not sure where these, where this is supposed to be, but I believe this diagram is probably very similar, if not exact, for the Beehive Coke ovens, um, in Sunnyside. So I think we need to take a look at this, um, now this is going to be hard to read. I can't make out some of the words because the graphic um, is uh, not focused enough. Um, I tried to find a better image. But I could not. It says, uh, Beehive oven design um, evolved by trial and error during the 19th century as Coke operators sought a practic uh, practicable, practicable combination, okay, practicable, maybe, combination of uh, furnace configuration materials and operating methods that would yield high quality metallurgical coke. Experimentation with oven shape and size as well as, um, I can't really read the word, trunins, I'm not sure what the word is, head and door sizes, um, uh, yielded standardized designs by 18, maybe 50, hard to tell. The typical oven was 10 to 12 foot in diameter, the sidewalls 2 foot to 3 foot high, and the dome top another 2 foot to 3 foot high. A charge of five to seven tons filled the oven to a depth of two foot when leveled. And what they're talking about is when they dumped the coal in the top here in this hole, they would fill it to two feet, and then when they removed it, they removed it through this door here. Now, the next thing over here, it says materials, parts, and construction methods were selected for their mineral content, durability, and thermal value, ease of repair, and uh, faculty at, I can't read that word, uh, transformations, uh, specifically shaped Fire clay, fire clay liner bricks laid up with a thin layer of loam mortar, uh, retained furnace heat without decomposing and altering the coke's metallurgical content. Uh, oven fronts around door frames, on the other hand, were of common brick for ease of tear out and replacement during refining. Stone arches above doorways form joints between the differing curves and surfaces of the cylindrical liner wall, the spherical crown, and the flat retaining wall. To protect the oven dome, which had a natural tendency to flatten somewhat over time, uh, tarty, tartary, tarty, terry track? I'm not sure. What's it? I think it's written up here. Maybe I can, Larry Pier. I'm not sure what that word is. Oh, where am I? Um, oh, where was I? Uh, da -da. Larry track, maybe? Pier foundations transferred the weight of the track, let's say Larry and coal charge, uh, directly to the ground. Uh, the heavy demand for quenching water, each oven required from 500 to 800 gallons per charge, spurred development of sophisticated delivery systems that included numerous um, reservoirs and miles of pipe. When I read that, I'm like, what? And then I looked at, all of a sudden I saw this water pipe. Check that out. Now that, that would be under the ground in front of the door. So I don't know if that's still there. Maybe they tore that up. Now, John was, you know, the, the speculation is, okay, look, when we see these Coke ovens, 
um, when they're intact, they have this wall on the front, the stone wall, and they have the doors. But then when we see them later, they're ripped off. And the story goes that they ripped them off because, as Ewar said, the hippies were sleeping in them. I think that's bullshit. But um, I think they tore them off because of the stone masonry. I mean, that's that's valuable shit right there. So I, I would think that'd be a good idea to tear off the stone masonry. And then you have the iron doors, um, which I would think would have some value, uh, especially uh, maybe around war times. Um, and then these pipes would have been maybe iron. Um, so then there's more you know, dollars sitting there, and they ripped up the iron train tracks, obviously, um, but I think that this is a diagram that, I think if you did some investigations, you would find out that the Sunnyside Coke ovens are actually designed exactly like this. I think this is a diagram of the Sunnyside Coke ovens. Maybe not perfectly, but I think damn close, and I find it interesting that there's, the, you know, you got the lower wall here, and this is the part that we find um, at Sunnyside, at least what John showed was the, had the melted uh, face on the brick, not the entire brick, just the face. That means it melted from the inside while whatever was being done was done in it, whether it was being, Coke was being uh, um, made or there was something else being done. And then the tops, I think the reason those tops aren't melted or that they're showing any kind of smoke damage or anything like that is that I think they were new. I think they were just unused. For whatever reason, they didn't get used. And that's why we find them today. Uh, in the condition they are. And then we find on the bottom that the bottoms were in a lot better shape. And you notice here that it's got this stone bottom. And then they've got a different kind of uh, tile or stone on the bottom here. Uh, so, you know, and then it talks about the jam blocks. Um, so I think that's interesting to note. Um, so they're saying, you know, you've got liner wall, that this is a different type than this. This is a block and this is brick. Okay. I've got another diagram here. Um, I'm not going to read this one out, but this this one basically shows the process of how the coal the, the coke was made. They bring in up on the top here on the rails. Uh, you got Fred here, uh, Fred being the horse that coked America, and then uh, they would dump in the coal, and then they would heat it to a certain temperature, and then they would pull the coke out through the door. Okay, and then there was a waiting train over here, which it's my understanding that um, the train would come in um, and bring in the wood to fire the oven, and once it was done, they would fill it back up with the the coal that had been coked. Um, and then you see here they dump it out and then they put it in the train car. So this is the whole system from the side. You have the, the train car down here and then you have a wall going up and then it goes over here. So where John was looking was over here, but then there was a train track in the middle that's been covered up. Then you got to wonder, okay, if that hole is covered up, I don't believe, I don't remember seeing a wall here when John was out there. What I think is maybe they, they tore this area down here and, and maybe they even threw it in the hole. Um, and then you got the tops are cleared off. So maybe the dirt and the, the, the clay that was up top here, it was thrown in here. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of questions to be asked. Uh, here's another diagram. This one's not as good, but this shows basically the same thing. Um, so that's kind of where we're at on that. Uh, so let's uh, kind of wrap this up. So to wrap up, um, you know, these are the images uh, that were in the Utah archives of the Sunnyside Coke ovens. Um, I believe now that these are pictures of the Sunnyside Coke ovens. I believe uh, Ewar was correct. And John was wrong, and I was wrong, that these, I believe that these images, and John believed these images were not Sunnyside Coke ovens, and the, the reason we did is because what we were shown was altered, okay? But now, um, I figured out what the problem is, and this all started from Ewar, um, coming out and slamming John, um, for not doing proper research, when, instead of extending his hand, uh, to John and saying, hey, let's have a conversation, because I know, from my knowledge of John, John would have talked to Ewar, um, and talked this out. Here's the wood being delivered. I believe this is Sunnyside Coke Ovens. Um, even John said that this is not Sunnyside. I believe now this is Sunnyside Coke Ovens. I also believe that this probably has been, uh, also, um, uh, done some vanilla skying here. Um, I see the same kind of thing in this image as well. This image, I believe, could be, uh, Vanilla Sky. This image, I'm almost positive, is Vanilla Sky. I see the telltale signs. It might be really hard to see on this video, but um, I do see uh, the evidence that it's possible. Um, same thing with this one. Um, let's see. Uh, and then John was saying that this image, that the mountain looks right, but, you know, the images can be manipulated and fabricated. And yes, you're right, John. The images can be fabricated in this time, but from your knowledge, and you would actually have probably have to go down there and look at this mountain again to get a good idea if this was the right image. I got a feeling that this image is real. Um, I think you can go down on the ground, and I think you can, you know, kind of line this up, and I think you can find out uh, the truth there. Uh, you got this image here. I think that this is them rebuilding uh, the, the Coke ovens. Um, I think this image is real. I think this image is also Vanilla Sky. If you look right here, you see the evidence of that. Uh, I, I, I've looked at enough Vanilla Sky images to know what I'm looking for. And I'm seeing telltale images of Vanilla Sky in this image as well. Uh, right here is very telltale. You can see the scraping. 
Um, this is just from my experience of looking at these images. But I believe this is a, a correct image. I believe this image has vanilla sky going on um, in it. Um, now, why they vanilla sky? I don't know. I believe this is sunny side coke ovens. Okay. Um, I think this is... Okay. Oh, yeah. This is that image he was looking at. Um, I believe this is also... I believe all these are sunny side coke ovens. So, here's the thing. Um, I believe these are sunny side coke ovens. Um, th I think these images are real. Here, here's the problem, okay? Um, Ewar, you know, talks crap, okay? Because he's trying to prove his new horseshit hypothesis that we're incorrect, okay? So he immediately puts our camp on, um, you know, a footing of, uh, you know, we're being attacked. Um, he wasn't attacking me personally, but I take it, you know, kind of personal when he attacks people that are in the, the mindset that I am. Um, I'm going to, you know, see what I can do to see if they're right. And if they are, I'd like to defend them. So when, you know, I go on a, a footing of, you know, attack, um, it it, it kind of clouds the mind, okay? When you're, when you're um, uh, going in uh, kind of in a bad mood about the damn thing. Um, and so I'm not, put, I'm not putting John down for not finding this. I didn't find it either. But here's the point. Now we know that the image is Sunnyside Coke Ovens. We know that the image has been altered. It's been vanilla skied. Okay. Now we can start from scratch and we can say, okay, uh, John did boots on the ground. Great video. We can say, yes, John could have done more research uh, and shown these images. Yes. Um, but Ewar, you should have reached out to John and said, hey, John, I'd like to talk to you about this because John would have picked up the phone. John would have picked up the Skype. John would have picked up the email. John would have communicated with you. And then you could have talked with him without putting out your your uh, video talking down on John, trying to put, prove your horseshit hypothesis. So this is the problem in our community. And um, we've got to start communicating people because um, everything's we, we all have a perspective. We all have a viewpoint and we all have something to bring to the table. And by arguing with each other, we're not getting anywhere. I'm having the same problem with the melt tarts. OK, I tried to communicate with them. They, they turned me down. They wouldn't answer my questions. Well, I'm going to get my voice heard. So then I attack them. OK, now they're whoo, they got their knickers in a bunch. Now they're really worried. But, um, you know, it doesn't have to be that way. You could come in and you could uh, answer. You could have a debate. You could ask questions. Um, and, you know, we don't have to walk away being right. OK, we can at least ask our questions to each other and have have uh, the ability to um, explain our, our thoughts and our research. But if we if we throw up a wall and we say, no, 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 you know, you're, I'm not going to talk to that person, then, you know, it. Everything's gets everything gets messed up, and I think that the viewers and the the uh, the people that are looking for this information, the people that are trying to research that that we're not being um, our best selves here, and we need to try our best to reach a handout and communicate. Okay, I'm not saying we're going to fix the past because believe me, I ain't. You, I can't help like the Miltards. I can't help the Miltards. They're they're totally. Those people are just fucked. Okay, their their research is so fucked. I'm gonna have to start over with with, with meltology as a whole research. So that's not gonna help any. But you know, we can go forward from here. And instead of uh, uh, throwing out and bitching and moaning and groaning and um, you know, instead of the name calling from the start, let's try to communicate and have a debate. And then if it doesn't work out, if if uh, you get together and and uh, for whatever reason we you know pies start flying, and then we want to talk shit to each other. Okay, fine. We start talking shit. We start name calling. Fine. The point is, we're all wrong. I'm wrong that I called these pictures not uh, Sunnyside Coke ovens. They are. I have proven that, um, and I have retorted, and now I am square on that. John uh, looked at the same thing I did, came up with the same thing I did, and I see where he's, he came up with that. Um, and John was being um, basically attacked uh, for putting out a video, um, in his opinion, and, um, you know, but then on the same light, John can do better. And then you've got Ewar, who... Um, Instead of attacking first, you know, trying to get first blood, you need to reach your hand out and talk to people uh, before you throw their work to the ground. Because, you know what, you live in a glass house, you are, and the work you're putting out right now is fucking shit, okay? I mean, you just put out a, a, a video on clinker bricks, which has nothing to do with what we're talking about in meltology. You're, you're talking about something that has nothing to do with the actual issue at hand. So you think you've, you've put out, you know, this wonderful video, and it's, it, yeah, it's interesting, you know, talk about clinker bricks, that's interesting, but that's not even what we're talking about, man, so, you know, you've got to pull your head out of your ass as well, so we're all three wrong here, now we know where we're at, um, so now we can study the sunny side Coke ovens, I'm sorry this was long-winded, but it's just kind of what, where uh, my thinking was on it, so, that being said, uh, everybody have a good, wonderful day, and I will see you later, Bigs out.
Say wolf again! Say wolf again! I've got one that can see. This is my kung fu, and it is strong. See you later!